So if you haven't thought about reinvention in the past, I promise reinvention is also in your future. Now, some of the drivers of reinvention, which are sort of important to understand, you know, the personal ones, you're bored and ready for a change. I get bored, which is why I'm, but I started on Wall Street in a big bank, JP Morgan. Now, I helped to build the credit derivative business, but I was inside a huge bank. I wanted to build my own thing. And so I took that leap. I had a dream. You hate your job. I'm not sure this is exactly a reason to reinvent yourself. Generally, you should look around and make sure it's the job you hate, <laughs> as opposed to maybe the people you're working with or the environment you're in, because it could be that you're in the right job, just not the right place. Now, these next two drivers, these are the ones that impact all of us today, and I'll explain why. An event, a big event that causes a rethink. Now, what could that be? Well, the pandemic, right? We're so many people have spoken to me over the past 18 months about how the pandemic has really forced them to rethink. And there are so many reasons for that, but it is causing a whole number of people to just, is this the right thing? Am I in the right place? Am I pointed in the right direction? And the last one, and this is the most important, the landscape is changing. The landscape is changing. What does that mean? It means digital transformation the digital transformation agenda as of 2020 has accelerated in a way that it's hard to get your head around. The future of work. Do we work in the office? Do we not work in the office? Do we do everything on Zoom or do we meet in person? What is it going to look like in the future? The tech threat. Now, this is for everyone, right? Whether it's, it's, it's fintech or whether it's big tech that you're worried about or whether it's just the whole host of new people coming into this space and thinking they can do it better. It's a really exciting time, but it can look like a threat. Diversity and inclusion, something, frankly, in the financial services industry, we haven't been so good at. But it's clear that it's time to give more thought to it and do better. Employees want purpose. They want impact, right? I don't remember talking about any of that 30 years ago when I first started, but young people today, this is big. ESG, the focus on this is so huge around the world. Each one of these things on their own, each one of these things on their own, you could get your head around, but all of them at the same time. This is an unbelievable time in our lives. And if you don't change, you're going to miss out because there are some amazing things happening around you. And we have to change with the world as it changes around us. And it's not incremental changes. I really believe it's time for all of us to be thinking about reinvention. So a few examples. What does reinvention look like? Well, it could look like all sorts of things. It could be you want to switch sectors. Maybe you're in the military and you want to go into finance. You're in finance, most of you. You want to go into academia. Maybe do something totally different. Maybe you're a salesperson, but now you want to be a product manager or you want to develop product or you're an engineer. You're coding and maybe you want to drive the business or you want to go into sales. Maybe you just need a new life goal, life plan, or you know, maybe it's just time for that rethink. But for most of us, for most of us, it's about future-proofing our career in the face of all of this change, reinventing ourselves to future-proof our career. Now, I don't know if you all know Lewis Hamilton. He's, uh, some say he's the greatest Formula One driver ever. Um, and he has a fantastic quote, and it is, I don't aspire to be like other drivers. I aspire to be unique in my own way. I love this quote because it basically says, while we are all on our own journey, and especially when you think about reinventing yourself, there's no path to follow. Nobody else has done what you're about to do because you're about to find something that's special to you inside and add things to it, add knowledge and skills and transform what you can achieve and what the people around you can achieve as well. Now, while your path is your own, I think there are some key principles that I've always followed on my little reinvention journeys. And they're the following. Dream big. I mean, why not? Fail fast and often. That's the scary bit. 
never, ever give up. This is really crucial. I'm going to talk about each of these a little bit, but if you can remember, dream big, fail fast, never give up. You can reinvent yourself, your business, and the future is bright. Now, when we talk about dreaming big, you know, the fact of the matter is you may not know what you're going to achieve when you're 100. I certainly don't know. I keep telling myself I'm going to do something amazing when I grow up. I just I haven't hit that point yet. But I do have short and medium term goals, particularly in the face of all of the change that's in front of us. We should all have some short and medium term goals ahead of us. But but dream big. Right. What could you achieve in three to five years? It could be something unbelievable. But here's the thing. Do not start with thinking about where you are now. Many, many people, I'm going to put an X on that. Many, many people think about their starting point is what can they do today and how can they leverage it? That's not the starting point. The starting point is where do you want to be? Where could you be? In, where do you want to be in five years time and work your way back and think of all the amazing things that you could then leap forward and do. Don't constrain yourself to where you are. Dream, dream big. The problem is you ultimately have to put yourself out there. Dreaming is one thing, but then you just have to tell people what you want to achieve and what you're trying to do. And it is scary. As you put yourself out there, you tell people about your hopes and dreams. It's like bearing your soul. But, but, this is the best bit. Because yeah, when you bear your soul, you're going to have, there's going to be, somebody might laugh. Somebody's going to say, no, it's not possible. Many people are going to say, you're dreaming. Yeah, you are. You're dreaming big. It's going to feel like a fail. It's every time you put yourself out there and someone doesn't understand, it's going to feel like a fail. But here's the thing. J.M. Barry, he's the author of Peter Pan. He says, we are all failures. At least the best of us are. At least the best of us are. Unbelievable advice. Fail fast. Get that no. Understand why you got the no and deal with it. Every no gets you closer to the yes. Every no gets you closer to where you're trying to go. Failure is your absolute best opportunity to learn. And look, failing fast is the mantra we use in the business world today, right? It's the agile versus waterfall in the tech space where... We don't work on something for two years and then launch it and hope it works. <laughs> that, that's crazy now. We constantly revisit, are we doing the right thing? Are we doing the right thing? Are we doing the right thing? And you, as an individual, have to constantly get that feedback and keep pointing yourself, take it on board and keep pointing yourself in the right direction. I believe ultimately, none of us, we're not a function of our past, experiences, education, jobs, that, it's that's literally that's just a bio it's just not not very exciting you're just a function of your future potential that's the exciting bit right especially with all of this change what is our future potential now along the way i've talked about all the negatives sometimes people are going to say no sometimes they're going to laugh at you when you're trying to do something different use your community uh, this is not actually a picture of a community <laughs> you use your community. And I think of it as a series of concentric circles, right? Just the people that are closest to you and you sort of work your way out and talk about things as you're developing your plan. Use your community. When people say no, when they laugh, use your community to support you because your path is your own, but you're not alone. Now, we've talked about all the negatives. What about the positives? The benefits of reinvention. You learn how to embrace failure. It is a hard thing for all of us to do. We naturally want praise, not criticism. And yet we only learn when we get the criticism. You become more resilient because no is suddenly not scary. It's actually an opportunity to learn. You embrace lifelong learning. These changes I've mentioned, they're not going to stop. This is we're on a, a speedway at the moment of increasing change around us. Lifelong learning keeps us relevant every single day. And we learn to appreciate those diverse perspectives around the table. Because when you have a bunch of people and you're in a little bit of an echo chamber and everybody agrees with what you're doing and you suddenly speak to someone who's a little bit different and they, they ask, what are you thinking? 
you realize that you needed that additional perspective around the table. Your communication and your listening skills evolve. The fact of the matter is, as we all become more senior, we start off not speaking at all. And then we slowly speak as we become more confident and we know more things. But then as we get more senior, we start speaking less and less. Sitting on a board, I go to a board meeting. My goal is to speak two, three times, maybe. It's 80, 90% listening, 10 20% speaking and as effectively as possible because I don't get many opportunities. And that's how we all evolve. All of that together makes us a better leader. And look, in the world of financial services, we don't have enough leadership and management skills. We haven't really developed that enough, but you can develop it for yourself. You become a better leader. And then you see changes in opportunity. That's the exciting thing. So reinvention, it's absolutely, it's in your hands. Everything you're going to hear in this conference is all about all these exciting things that are happening. Reinvention is in your hands. Dream big. Take the leap. Just go for it. Why not? Fail fast and often. Best opportunity to learn. Use your community. You're not alone on this journey. And never, ever give up because I promise whatever it is that you want to achieve, you can do. This is the exciting thing, right? You reinvent yourself, you reinvent the world around you. And then who knows? Who knows how beautiful the future is going to be? So thank you. Thank you very much.